Hey, good morning, fish heads. It is Jen Cravasi from Jekyll Baits, and we have a lot to get through this morning. So let's get right to it. Oh, pup stretching out in the shop. I can't tell if it's going to rain today or if it's going to just be foggy all day. It's super humid um, in the Delta in Arkansas. Let's start out with this little guy. This is a very simple yet effective bait. It's a repaint, refurb. It's an old bait. It's a reclaimed lure from Lake Pickwick. I still have a bunch of those left. And uh, this one's just for me. I didn't want to overcomplicate the pattern. Just wanted something for a, a tough bite day when a smaller presentation might be the right answer. Um, so I put together this little guy. It's got tons of glitter on it, top and bottom. They are made for 2D eyes. I went ahead and did 3D eyes and then super glued that down and then clear coated it in KBS. And we have taken as much of the rust off as we possibly can, but this little guy is still sound. You can still get some really good usage out of some old lures if you just follow a couple of simple steps. And that's one of the things that we're gonna be talking about later on in the spray session that may or may not come out tonight. It's probably gonna come out Monday morning. Um, it's been hectic. I've had a lot of big orders to fill and I apologize, but gotta make, gotta make the customers happy. So I like making all you guys happy as well. But let's get into these little guys. Now this is the Decay Craw. And you can see very much where it's a 3D sort of an effect that we've done with stencils. And if you guys want to learn how to do a little bit of uh, work like this, where it looks like you can actually see inside the shell to a deeper layer of the shell just by adding a little bit of stenciling and paint, I will be more than happy to share that with you guys. It's not very hard to do, but it does take a little bit of practice. But this is just a killer, killer craw pattern. This is gonna be, uh, this is all of this just about, except for maybe a couple of pieces are headed up to New York. Um, and that's gonna be tomorrow. So these are hot off of the clear coat rack. That's the other one. And uh, just a lot of fun with a 3D effect. This is not an imaged bait. This is all hand painted, all of it. So happy to teach and share if you guys wanna learn that technique. This is a Whitney Point. I think to date, I've done tons of Whitney Point patterns and jerk baits, but this one is the 2.5. It's that Lucky Craft pressing. Nice thick bill on this. Really well weighted. And I love the, the rattle in these. It's a super effective rattle. But yeah, I don't think that I've done any other Whitney points with that bright orange belly and then the, uh, the plum blue fade. But really good for clear water, really good for stained water. For some reason, the walleyes just destroy this particular pattern, so. Love doing that. And again, in a 120. This is an Everglades pattern in that 120. And the Buzzkill in a 2.5. We call it the Buzzkill because it's glaring. Um, <laughs> And you can see it from a mile away, but that's the whole point of this bait. But just fun uh, doing a, a dark blue indigo to plum and then a different color blue on the back end of it, white in between, pearlized, and super shiny. A little bronze back. Love doing these small mouth patterns. And that's just a super fun one to do. These are not pre-cut hard stencils. This is all hand painted by um, 2D stencils, the vinyl stencils that come out. A little bit of splatter on the belly of that. And of course that traditional small mouth red eye. Again, these have just come out of clear coat as well. What else do we have? Dun, dun, dun. 
It's a, a gold green, like a moss green fade to gold with red undertones. Definitely going to stand out. Some similar effects, um, not quite as mature of a 3D look through type deal that we've got going on there, but these are cool. We've got the dragon eyes on here. And almost in a burst pattern. And then the customer requested a gold pattern, which I figured let's go ahead and do another bronze back. That red eye. And a dark gold copper burnt sienna fade at the top. And that, let's see, oh, I don't know if I've shown this off before. Got this one as well. This is the brook trout. We've got the hand-painted laterals, the classic blue and red that you will see on those brook trout. And these are living eyes. I use a lot of different eyes. There's some really good stuff out there from Jetson. Um, I've got a big order on the way, which I'm really excited to get. So, John, I can't wait to see that. But these are living eyes, and I think that uh, I can leave you a link in the description below on where to get the living eyes. I think I got them off of fishusa.com. But, and this is, uh, this is also like a pointer pressing, not the original, but well weighted. It's got that traditional rattle in it, dives down, slow rise, good bait. That's what we've got to show you. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up in the spray session this week. So we're getting ready to knock that out for you. This week's topic is going to be frequently asked questions and a couple of demonstrations on how to properly clear the eyelets out after you've gotten clear coat on them and dried and how to prep old baits for restoration. It seems to be a, a theme and topic that everybody's wondering about this week. So. I will do my best to give you the answers in the way I do things, and um, I'm also going to do something that I haven't done on the um, on these spray sessions because I get tons of photographs from lures from you guys when you're when you're starting out and the processes that you're using, and some of you guys that have been working for a short period of time are really really good. Um, and, and everybody that sends me pictures of lures, I really appreciate that because that makes me feel good. It, it helps me to kind of tailor what I'm doing towards what you guys need. So keep sending those pictures in. I'm going to showcase a few of them today. Um, really excited about doing that. And if you guys want that to be a regular part of the spray session, let me know. Leave me a comment in the description below. And just before we go, today's shout out is going to be for Preston Thompson. Preston, thank you so much. He's become a Patreon supporter. I really appreciate that because that helps me to resupply the things that I need to do to bring you these videos, like just basic stuff, clear coat, paint, brushes, um, new needles, all sorts of things because uh, it's a production and uh, everything is part of the process. So thank you so much, Preston. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. Have a great rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching and happy casting.